we could take a side panel for a, a case, cut it up. Hey everyone, today we're gonna be building with this, and this. also this. This is Brian from this. BPS Customs. What's so, going on? This is a two by one 80 millimeter radiator. Yeah, I've actually never built with or seen one of these before, but it is massive. Look how thick it is. Yeah, and this one might not fit, but we have a skinnier one in case it doesn't. Yeah. So we're going to be working with this in a new system for Andrew, who's behind the camera, to be working on in the studio, a new editing machine. Uh, it's going to be a custom loop build. We do custom loops at GN, uh, very function focused. We are here in the production room. Yeah. Where you have built several really ugly pieces. <laughs> so I've noticed that. Yep. Brian yeah. has roasted me on his channel, <laughs> and you should go check out his channel in the link in the description below if you want to see some of that. So we're going to be building that today on camera. Uh, we've got the massive. Two yeah, you have yours too, right? Yeah. Do you have your? I have a screwdriver. Do you have a screwdriver? Uh, yes. I do. <laughs> Before that, this video is brought to you by Be Quiet and the Silent Base 802 case. The Silent Base 802 got high accolades in our review for its high build quality and its versatility in both silence focused and airflow focused build. The 802 comes with swappable mesh panels or noise damped panels, so you have options for either approach. The Silent Base 802 case is able to fit larger builds as well without being overbearing, and it stands out for its mechanics quality and assembly quality. Learn more about V-Quiet's new case at the link in the description below. Okay, so for the radiators, we liked the Fractal Torrent a lot, obviously. It got our best case overall for the year. It had one major issue that Fractal got out in front of and fixed. Yeah. So with the case, really good airflow on it for air-cooled builds. Uh, Patrick and I, as soon as we worked on the review, we really wanted to do something with 180 rads because when he was researching for the review, we happened to find some. I think Alvacool is basically the only company that had 180s, uh, at least they, that we found. And they have multiple sizes of them, apparently. Apparently, enough people have bought these for multiple SKUs to exist. But this, this we're going to have a problem fitting this in, I think. We're, I mean, even just looking at it right now, it would be challenging if yeah. we wanted to have something on the bottom of the case as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think we should at least try. And then if not, we could, we'll just move back to this one. Because this one I'm pretty sure will fit. Yeah. So let's go grab some of the other parts. All right. Okay. Okay, so we're in the intake room now. Uh, we do have a box of Alpha Cool parts that are options. Right. Brian is, if you haven't watched his channel, is very experienced with custom liquid cooling. I've done a good amount of it for purely benchmarking, so overclocking, things like that, but I don't have any level of artistry in my builds, <laughs> and you do. We're going to so. put a little artistry yeah. in this, but I know that your main focus is function. So it'll look good, but mainly um, I think it'll just perform pretty well. Yeah. And I know that you had mentioned that maybe doing like a blackout build or something. So we're going to try to keep the colors to a minimum, um, if at all possible. Yeah, so. that makes sense to me. And, yeah. and You've got a lot more experience with water cooling parts in general, so yeah. I'll follow your lead on the Well, we selection. need the, this is the pump res. This is a, I believe this is a glass uh, reservoir. Yeah, uh, that didn't help at all, but. We did. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna use that board, that's the, uh, the Maximus Hero. Yes, yeah, Maximus Hero. This is a DDR4, or five, sorry, DDR5 board. And uh, we'll be using this with, I guess, that block. And this. And the rest of these things I don't think we need. No, I don't think so. So I did find this power supply. Uh, oh, great. Which is brand new. I'd rather use this one than the other one we looked at. Yeah, that's great. So this is a 750 G6. Um, I think Patrick Stone has tested these and it didn't explode and the overpower protection was good and everything else was good. So yeah, it didn't explode is a good start. Generally what we look for in a power supply. Right. So I think we've got this set of stuff. Uh, I think the rest of it's coming from further down the building. So. Yeah, we'll just we'll just roll this. Yeah, shopping cart. All right. Next up is uh, I guess we need a GPU, huh? GPU and a smaller radiator. What uh, what are we building with? What GPU do you want to use in this build? So I want to use a 3090. We have this disassembled 3090 FE. Oh, how convenient! So do you have the bracket? Yes. Okay. We do have the bracket. We've got the 12 pin here. Okay. Um, probably while we're building, I'll clean this a bit because there's some Vaseline on there. Mm. 
So that was from a liquid nitrogen overclocking session we did. Yeah. And How did the card do? It did better than my one of my EVGA ones. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard these were these were built pretty well. They they worked well, yeah. It was power limited on the V BIOS, but yeah. that's standard. This is the block that uh, Patrick pulled out for us earlier. Okay. This is the GPU block. Ooh, this is this heavy. Is sexy. With the RGB connector. Yeah. This is really these are really cool looking. Okay. So we got so. GPU, we got block, we need a radiator. Yes. We have five sixties. That is a long boy. That's I think one of the, I think this one maybe. Yep. There That's we go. Two forty. Okay. Yep. This will do nicely. We need fans. We need CPU, CPU memory, RAM. Yeah. Anything else? That's it, I think. Okay. Nice. All right. So this is your uh, your closet of silicon. Yes. This I think is the kit of RAM we're going to use. This is. It's not particularly good. In terms of speed, it doesn't have heat spreaders, which it's not fast enough. I don't know, it doesn't really matter for this I one. I mean, it's 32 gigs. Times two, I think, right? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. So my reasoning for it was even though it's not our best RAM, it's the highest I'm capacity. I'm sure this will be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And I should say this too. I haven't actually said why we're building the system. Uh, so Andrew does a lot of work with Premiere and Blender. Mm -hmm. And so both of those are going to be memory intensive. Yes, yeah, so you need the 3090. That would definitely help. Yeah, we need the 3090 for the video memory because Andrew will use it in Blender. Right. And then for Premiere, uh, we just need system memory in general. Right. So that's kind of the reasoning for the parts. The CPU, I was thinking of 12700K. It's one of the ones we bought for a review. If there's a platform we're kind of recommending at the moment, we'll try to actually use it in the field for a while. Right. Because sometimes it's, you know, the numbers can look pretty good, but it might feel a little different in real use, so. Yeah, and then you could report back on it and right. give them some real information, that's good. Yeah, I think that's all the parts. I put in a request for an SSD delivery. Okay. Via. Do you have same day? Uh, we have same day Patrick Prime. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> Should be here any minute. <laughs> uh, I swapped our sides. Okay, I, I don't see. Know. I don't All right, know. okay. I don't know why I did that. I see, you got the bigger mod mat. Well, this is I get this it. is my better side. Okay. So, yeah, you I mean, your graphics with, card is half work. the size of a normal one. Right. So. Sure. I mean, you it, gotta work it's with, you powerful. Know, what you got. It's powerful, okay, but it's uh -huh. pretty small. Okay, so I'm gonna, I guess I'll start with deep cleaning this. Can we get a shot of the, can you see the Vaseline and like the dust and maybe some cat hair? <laughs> is that? There you go, that side's pretty gross. So this was coated in Vaseline for installation. That's the short of the story. And I'm gonna scrub it off. All right, scrub it off. Right back. Do you do the AMSR, A A ASMR peel? No. I, I You're missing out on a whole audience. I'm getting, not getting, missing Getting out. close on this, this is amazing. Are you ready? Uh-huh. It's actually disgusting. That was it, that was the whole that's, thing. That's, I'm grossed out. I think this is good to go. I'll probably start blocking it. It's got some Vaseline on it still, but it's mostly clean at this point, so. And the Vaseline's not, not gonna really hurt anything either, no, so. No, it's not. It's just kinda gross. So this is, um, <laughs> why don't you take a look at this board and tell me what you feel. I was gonna say, missing. that doesn't sound like a good laugh. Steve, would you like, like would a, you like to tell us what's like missing on this board? laugh. <laughs> I'm glad you spotted that. Yeah, right? I don't think, I don't, fortunately it wouldn't be buried, but. Yeah. Yeah. We're missing a battery. Is he still following me? I can't, I've been trying. Is he still behind me? Still there. He's hiding. It's terrifying. For the 240, yeah. thinking like centered, and then where do we want the fans top and bottom? Yeah, this is what we were talking about before. I'm not sure how far over we're going to need this because we have the radiator plus the reservoir is gonna mount here too. So we don't want any interference with the tubes coming in and out. So this might have to, even though we would prefer it aesthetically to be centered, maybe push it a little bit this way. Right. This actually feels good. This feels nice and solid. So, okay. I think that's really all we need. Done. We gotta put the pads on the back plate. And uh, that, should, that should be that. This is making me tired. Yeah, that was how I felt too. My, my back does hurt, like just being like, yeah, I feel like a gremlin or something. 
uh, mount the board, or you want to do that later? Board. board. Right. I can't believe that between the two of us, this is taking the longest. This is. That's what happened last time. Remember? Like, yeah. We both worked on it, and then I don't know. I remember we spent like most of the time on it. Would this work? This might work. I just had a thought. Maybe I'll save it for when Steve comes back. I'll tell you right now. So the mounting brackets for reservoirs is generally standardized for, 200, for 120 millimeter fan spacing. They usually have an adapter for 140 millimeter fan spacing. I highly doubt there's any mounting brackets for 180 millimeter fan spacing. So mounting it, mounting the reservoir to this front rad might not be possible unless we fab something. Should we fab? Do we fab? Do we dare fab? See, this is, this is what I was talking about. So fan spacing for 120 mil, fan spacing for 140 mil, and then 180 would be out here somewhere. And it's just not, not big enough. So we would need to fab something that's, that lo looks mostly like this, except it's longer. And I don't know if we could do that. We could take a side panel for a, a case, cut it up. Interesting. <laughs> we have a lot of cases we don't need. Yeah. We're gonna have to make two that come out and down. This one's gonna have to come down this much, and this one, these are gonna have to come down this much. Or go up, or you don't wanna go up. Go up. Either way, it's gonna need to be spaced like that. This will work. We need we're, the the places where we drill the holes to mount will ah. be a, probably a little bit different. Um, but um, so what do you need, Dremel or uh, or a snip? If you have a tin snip, we do have a large one. Um, which do you prefer? I mean, I could probably tell you which ones would work, but I don't know which ones you want to hack up. Yeah, is that an option? Yeah, but this is a nice case. Sure, you want to hack this up? Nice adjacent. If that's true. It. That's an option. That's maybe easier to cut through. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So are you rolling? Okay. This is the boring part, I guess. We have our two fabricated brackets. They're not the prettiest, but they're not really gonna be seen all that much. And honestly, if we wanted to, we could just spray paint them or something. But I wanna make sure that they fit in the case first. So we're gonna take this back to the filming set, mock these up inside of the case, uh, and then see where we need to drill through to fasten screws through into the radiator. This looks like it should work. Um, yeah, looks like it should work. I'm pretty happy with that. So the next thing to do is just drill the mounting holes uh, for the radiator. So, yeah, I mean, that should be good. It's not like it's gonna be pulled on, you know? Like Yeah. So, and if it is, then they deserve what's coming. So, <laughs> which is gonna be razor sharp slices. Oh my god, don't reach into this case ever. I will accept the risk. Oh man, uh, all right. Should we stand it up? Sure, <laughs> let's see what falls. It looks good, yeah. I think this actually looks good. Can't even tell from this angle. This is a uh, interesting. Which part? Yeah, this this whole this like mess of tubes. Yeah, as long as they're not like kinked, I guess. They're not. Everything looks good. Yeah, I can't see the one way back there, but I'm sure it's fine. Oh no, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that one clamped? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I think it looks okay. I think that it, I would. <clears throat> 
for a functional build, it's actually really good. Um, but for from aesthetic from an aesthetic standpoint, I think um, a couple of changes might be in order if we were to make it look its best. But I still think it, I still do like it. Is the tubing the only thing that's bothering you, or, or is there more? The, it's not necessarily the tubing itself. It's this mass of tubing. Like I wish I could clean this up somehow, and it's really hard to do without having like proper bends that can get out of the way of things. You know, we're gonna use the squirt bottle. We're gonna squirt it. This is this this is only gonna take four hours to fill. I'm squeezing as hard as I can. Look at the tiny little. It's like. It's like old man urination flow. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's now both trips you've been here. We've gotten a urination flow joke into it. Did a, we? Oh yeah. I don't remember the last this, one. The last one even went through. It got published. <laughs> this one not so much. I don't know. It might. See how Keegan's feeling when he edits it. <laughs> so now that we've done the test build, are you ready for the? The real one? The real project? Yeah, yeah let's go for it. I got, you know. Seven hours till you yeah, be something awake. like that. <laughs> um, this is good. I think, I think it's good. Yeah. So we're done, Ish. basically. Done ish. Yeah. Uh, it needs some kale management and stuff, but we'll get it cleaned up. Brian's got to head out in about seven hours. Yeah. It's yeah. about 12 a.m. We started work on this nearly 12 hours ago. Yeah. This uh, one took a little bit longer than we anticipated for what honestly is a fairly simple system. Yeah. But we did run into a couple challenges and a couple things that took way longer than we thought they would. And a couple things I'll note too is. Uh, it's a little different when we do a build versus if you're like planning a build for most people plan a build for a while, right? And then order when all I, the parts. When I plan one of these builds, even if I'm doing soft tubing, I usually it usually takes days. So I'll have the initial layout and the components and then it I'll spend a long time planning it. And right. we were kind of shotgunning it here. We want to get this yeah. done, we want it to be functional, we want it to look okay. Right. Um, but mainly focused more on let's get this finished. Let's get something and, built because and, because Andrew needs to use it. Yeah. You know, so. So we didn't do much planning other than, you know, it, it was kind of like a, I've got a lot of stuff here. Why don't you just come down? You bring your stuff. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I mean, it, I still think it looks pretty cool. It to looks be great, honestly. Like, and so challenges we ran into, uh, the video card wasn't a challenge, but it was a massive pain in the ass. That's That was the longest I've ever spent between the two of us installing a block on a graphics card. Yeah. It's just, there's some thermal pads, like always, but there's a lot yeah. of small thermal pads on the. A lot. FE. So, and they went for all of them. Yep. Okay. So that took a long time. We also had the front radiator, which we initially didn't know if we were using the super thick boy or not. Yes. That's heavy. Unfortunately, it does not fit. And then once we mounted this, we realized that we needed to fabricate a solution for mounting the reservoir to it. Yeah. Because standard mounting, which is one of these, is not wide enough. So I'm sure you guys probably saw that in the video, but I had to make up these brackets. Um, and uh, fortunately, it worked. I yeah. mean, I'm glad that it it's came out. It's a good solution. And again, like I know you, you wanted to spend a little more time on it, but he's got to go. Yeah, I wanted, so. if I wanted to like make them nice and neat and paint them. And, I was, uh, I literally got duct tape out. Like I yeah, was, we were, I was ready to we go. We were about to zip tie these things in place. <laughs> so it's a good solution, and um, I think the things to maybe be aware of stuff that people can take away for their own use. The leak testing was a good one. I'm glad we did that. Uh, we found a couple fittings that we hadn't properly tightened down, um, and right. which sometimes happen. They unwind themselves with the soft tubing. Yeah. Um, if the tube's not like, if you don't have it completely tightened, and the tube uh, moves a little bit when you tighten the other end of it. Yep. And that's what we had happening. Yeah. So, so we t we found two two of the fittings needed to be tightened down. No like real leaks in the system. Right. We just needed to do that, and everything was okay. We use the Alpha Cool. Pressure test for a lot tester. of that. Yep. You did the manual pressure test as well. Yep. Uh, and both of those work. So. Yeah, I th I'm I'm glad I I blew into it honestly because you're like, hey, I hear something. And yeah, I could <laughs> actually hear. It's like when a bike tire is leaking, you can kind of identify where it is. Yeah. So that was quick to troubleshoot. Fortunately. Yeah. But I, I'm glad we got this all wrapped up. 
Um, and I hope it works really well for you. Yep. Uh, hopefully the motherboard's not dead. I yeah, we didn't know. We didn't test it. No. So. <laughs> it should be good, though. <laughs> yeah, I hope Probably. so. Probably. hope so. With the new yeah. CMOS battery in there and everything. Right. Yes, that was missing. Yeah. But came together really well. I'm happy with it. I'm really excited to see how the 2180 rad does. Yeah. And um, it's just, it looks cool. Like the fans, we were talking about this, you don't see giant fans on giant radiators very often. Yeah. So it's typically just the giant fans. So a uh, fun excuse to use some new hardware. Yeah, it looks really good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got this all wrapped. And maybe I'll try something in this, in this case myself. Like I have, uh, I have this case at home. And well, we know all the shortcomings now. They mostly relate to water cooling, I guess. And we forgot one, screw length. Oh, that so. was a nightmare. <laughs> that's what took a that long, long ass time. Yeah. yeah. So that's actually really important to find out. Uh, the screws we used for this are the screws I used on an RX 480 hybrid that I made many years ago that I just bought from Lowe's, I think. And we were very fortunate that there's four of them. So we could get four points mounted. Yeah. So it's mostly mounted. <laughs> yeah. I'll go buy more from Lowe's next time. But And uh, also, they were the right thread count. So yes. I think. I, oh, I we think made they it were the right no, they were they okay. fit they fit correctly, but like we just couldn't we needed more length. Like these fans are so thick that the the regular radiator screws. And just, just for perspective, if you all think, you know, that's right, I got a lot of radiator screws. Well, so do I, and none <laughs> of these fit. They're not long enough, and the the problem just comes down to the fan thickness. Yeah, really. yeah. So. But we we were actually running through a bunch of different solutions. And uh, glad that that uh, Patrick came in with these. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, we dug them out, and so yeah, it's uh, it was that or zip ties, or duct tape. Yep. So. Something was getting done today. Yeah. We just weren't sure what. Just be aware of that, though. If if you do a similar build at all, you're gonna need to buy some longer screws. Yeah. Custom screws. Yeah. But that's it. Really happy with it. Check out Brian's channel, BPS Customs. Link to the description below. As we said earlier, we did some videos over there. We did. So. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm glad it came down. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. We'll see you all next time. Take care. Do you need a sound marker? <laughs> <laughs> Completely insane. <laughs>